Welcome to Intermediate German Grammar, presented by the German Studies Program at Elon University. In this presentation, we'll learn about noun and pronoun function, with a specific focus on the subject of sentences. This video is part one of a five-part series on noun and pronoun functions. After watching all five videos in this series, you should understand two things. First, what the noun and pronoun functions are, concepts such as subject, direct object, indirect object, and object of preposition. Second, how those functions are tied to and expressed by the four grammatical cases, namely nominative, accusative, dative, and genitive. One quick note before we begin. In this video series, most of my examples will involve nouns, because using nouns makes the concepts clearer. Just remember that everything you learn about noun function here also applies to pronoun function. In general, every noun or pronoun in a sentence is one of five things. The subject, the direct object, the indirect object, the object of preposition, or the genitive object. You can think of these things as noun functions. A good place to start our investigation of noun and pronoun functions is with the subject. A great way to identify the subject is actually to locate the verbs first. In these examples, the verbs are circled in blue. Once you've done that, the functions of the remaining words start to reveal themselves. In sentences in the active, the subject is the person or thing doing the action. If you begin with the verb here and ask who wanted German unification, the answer is Helmut Kohl, which means that he is the subject. In more technical terms, the subject in a sentence in the active is the agent, the person who has agency, or the thing that has agency. In sentences in the passive, the subject is the goal the person upon whom the action is performed, or the thing upon which the action is performed. In the sentence at the bottom of your screen, you start with the verb and ask who was elected. The answer is Helmut Kohl, making him the subject. If you need clarification on the difference between active and passive, see the playlist. The function of the noun in the sentence, and therefore its meaning or importance in the sentence, is tied to its case. Nouns and pronouns that function as the subject go into the nominative case, whose article endings are listed here. Remember that some articles take the same endings as der, die, and das, while others take the same endings as ein and eine. If you need a refresher on which words take which endings, just do a quick search for der words and ein words. There's one more thing to note. Nouns that modify the subject are also in the nominative. This makes sense if you think about it. Noun modifiers are simply elaborating on or describing the subject, which makes them sort of an extension of the subject. Therefore, the case stays the same. That concludes our presentation. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit us on the web or follow us on Facebook or Twitter.